Alright, so what is going on everyone? It's Virgin here and welcome back to a brand new video. And now in this video, I'm going to give you guys five ways you can make money as a teenager, especially if you're not at the age where you can actually find a job, or maybe you are the age, but there's not really jobs in your area. I'm going to be telling you guys five ways you can actually make quick and easy money at the age of 13 to 19, or maybe even younger than 13. So sit back, relax, and let's get on with this video. If you guys do go on to enjoy this video and you find it helpful, please Please leave a like. If we can get 20 likes in this video, that'd be much appreciated. Now let's start off with the first way you can make money. The first way is going to be mowing lawns for your neighbors. A lot of times, especially during the summer, people are mowing their lawns, like especially myself. My dad's always mowing his lawn and, you know, sometimes I help him or sometimes down the street, like I always hear lawnmowers and people are always cutting their grass. So you can actually take advantage of that and go to their house and ask them if you can mow their lawn. All you really need is a lawnmower of your own, which I'm pretty sure everyone has their own lawnmower. And I mean, if you don't have a lawnmower you can always ask to use their own so pretty much all you really have to do is go to their house and ask them like hey can I mow your lawn for some money I mean I don't know if you should give them a price because I don't know if that would seem a little bit you know like disrespectful but personally if I was asking for money I'd say like probably like 20 bucks so if you go to their house asking like can I mow your lawn for $20 like I'm really trying to save up for something now they're most likely gonna help you for two reasons the first one being is that they need their grass cut and they're just too lazy to do it and you can jump in and do it for them and two they understand that you're trying to make money and they're gonna want to help you and I mean who knows if you do a really really good job they're probably gonna tip you or something not only that but they might actually come back to you and ask them to mow their lawn again in the future so that's almost like starting a business for yourself and honestly since right now it's summertime it's probably the best time to be doing this so that is the first way of making money as a teenager just mow the lawns of your neighbors now this second one is gonna be kind of like cliche and it might be a little bit cringy but honestly start your own like lemonade stand or I mean you don't have to sell lemonade you could sell something like Kool-Aid or any other juice or maybe even snacks and it's really simple I mean all you really have to do is go to the corner of your street or your neighborhood and just put up a sign saying you know selling blah 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 I mean again it doesn't have to be lemonade but that's just like an option like you can literally go to the store and buy like a big jug of lemonade like I believe like the Hawaiian punch ones if you've ever seen those like they have a big jug of lemonade that's like huge and I mean you can buy like these small cups and just pour them into those cups and you can sell each of them for like let's say 50 cents you're gonna be making so much money because I'm pretty sure those big jugs cost a maximum of like three dollars or four dollars so you're easily gonna be making a profit when you're selling these because I'm pretty sure that big jug is gonna at least fill up like 30 cups if you sell each of them for 50 cents it's gonna come out to $15 so let's say you minus three dollars of the actual jug you're making a profit of 12 bucks all you have to do is just keep doing this over and over and over and you're gonna be making a quick profit now the only downside of actually doing this one is that you actually have to like invest in this so, like you have to spend money before you gain money so like if you're dirt broke then I mean this method probably won't be the easiest for you you're probably gonna have to ask your parents to help you out or something but don't worry if this one doesn't work I still have three more in this video now the third way you can make money and honestly this is probably one that everybody does already is to do chores around your house I feel like this is the most simplistic way and probably the easiest way to make money is to just do chores around your house whether it's cleaning your room taking out the trash cleaning the dishes just anything at all I mean if you ask your parents for like a very cheap weekly allowance let's say you ask them for I don't know $20 a week or $30 a week to just do unlimited chores they're probably gonna want to help you out because I mean if you're working for it if you're helping them out for it they're probably gonna pay you and honestly it doesn't even take that much time out of your day I mean if you wash the dishes one day washing the dishes probably takes no longer than like 15 20 minutes so let's say 15 minutes out of your day that's almost nothing and you're making money out of it or let's say you're cleaning your room which is also something that's not gonna take that much time I mean unless your room is absolutely filthy then I mean it may take a little bit longer but honestly cleaning your room like thoroughly is probably not gonna take any longer than like an hour again that's meaning like if your room is a complete mess but honestly if I mean if you maintain a clean room then it probably won't take that long so doing any of these chores could really like you know impress your parents and make them want to give you like a weekly allowance or just a payment right off the bat now the fourth way you can make money as a teenager is to buy things for cheap and sell them for more money so let's say for example your friend has a ps4 controller he has absolutely never used it it's still in the box and everything and let's say he gives it to you for I don't know ten dollars you can sell this ps4 controller for like 40 bucks which is actually cheaper than what they actually go 
look for it. So I think a PS4 controller goes for like $55 or something like that. So if you sell it for 40 bucks, you're selling it for cheaper than what it goes for, which is going to make people want to buy it from you. And you're actually making a $30 profit because he gave it to you for only $10. So you're making 30 extra dollars. Meanwhile, giving a person a really good deal on a controller. Now you don't have to sell PS4 controllers, obviously, but basically just find an item that you know goes for a good amount of money and see if you can maybe get like a 30, 40 dollar like discount on it and then sell it for more money and you will be making crazy profit. And I mean a good analogy of this is when I play FIFA, I buy players for like really, really cheap, like 450 coins and then I sell them forward for like 3,000 coins and I make so much of a profit. It's the same thing with a real life situation. You buy things for extremely cheap and sell them for a lot more money. So that is the fourth way you can make money as a teenager and that is buying things for cheap, selling them for more. Now the fifth and final way to make money is going to be simply get a job. I mean, at the age of 13 through 19, you can easily get some jobs. Now, of course, 13, 14 year olds, maybe not so much because it's a little bit young. But once you hit like age 15 or 16, there is a lot more jobs available to choose from. All you really have to do is you just look in your area and see what jobs are available for your age. Now, personally, I'm age 15 and I don't have a job because I'm very busy with my life. I mean, I do YouTube, I have school, I do sports, so I don't have too much time on my hands but I mean some of you probably do have more time on your hands available to have a job now one thing that I definitely want to mention before you go out and start looking for jobs is make sure that you tell them exactly what you do on a day-to-day -day basis for example if you go to school from 7 a.m. to 3 o'clock make sure that you're telling them that you go to school during those times because I mean if they're gonna give you a job that's from 1 o'clock to 5 you obviously can't do that because you're in the middle of school so make sure that you tell them like I can't you know work until after 3 o'clock or let's say you do sports and let's say you have practice until let's say six o'clock you cannot work until after six o'clock okay if you don't tell them this then they're just gonna step on your schedule and say you have these hours just be sure to remember that because honestly it would really suck if you played sports and you know your job got in the middle of it and you actually can't even play but anyways guys I hope you found this video helpful and enjoyable if you find any of these useful and you probably find yourself doing this already comment down below but anyways that has pretty much been the video if you guys did enjoy please leave a like if we can get 20 likes on this video that'd be much appreciated and thank you all so much for watching i will catch you guys in the next video this has been verzi i'm out peace